What's up, guys? I'm kind of upset. I'm waiting for Alan Wake 2. It's about a week away, and I was kind of just perusing, and I found this video that I haven't seen, and it's three weeks old. And I'm like, what the heck? Um, it's another Alan Wake 2 preview, as you can see at the top, but it literally is for an entire mission. It's called Room 665. And of course, I'm going to give credit where credit is due because this is actually on the channel Monster Vine. Um, this wasn't given to me or anything like that. I'm going to do what I do and we're going to watch the video together because I haven't seen it. I literally was clicked on it was like, oh, this is new and immediately stopped. And we're going to watch it and then go back and pick it apart like we always do. So let's just jump into it. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember. Fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return. Oh, man, this is what we're after. Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in loops and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. The Ocean View Hotel, my destination. delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance.
I was safe here. Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking.
was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get, he said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. We were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, it will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Yes, I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that.
Wow. <laughs> um, first off, like always, just before we even get into it, let me know what you guys thought of that in the comments down below. Uh, cause boy, oh boy, uh, gotta have, gotta, gotta have some stuff to unpack here. I, 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 I kind of open mouthed at some things. Um, obviously they jump cut a lot to kind of cut some spoilers and things like that. So I don't know if that is, um, a monster vine doing it or if it's, uh, this is actually taken from a like actual source and then they cut it and then threw it out to somebody. Uh, but yeah, a lot of jumping around. Um, but let's get back to it. Let's we're gonna go through all of this. This was there's a lot to unpack. So obviously going back through it, we're in the same thing. A lot. Uh, this is what we've seen before. He's in the fictional New York, the, the dark place. Again. And but the this first first big thing. Hold on. I was back at it. Is whole different background of. The Ocean View Mill Top, completely different background uh, than anything that we've seen in the previous clips or videos. So, and then this is he's more. talking, going to talk to this mysterious caller again. And then there's these little huts things that are around there that was different. So, and then this is we've seen this before, but he's talking. It's a different cutscene. There's a famous temper. So, and what he's like, oh, well, around? you remember it? You why do you, he's thinking like, why do you remember tell it? Tell me who you are. It all, it just, just looks great, so. Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Again, tell Ocean Vimeo Tell here in the back. How much do you remember? So. Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Now, this voice yeah. kind of sounds Alice different. Alice is in danger. Scratch his routine out to her and there, um, there's another man you that um hold on that um we've heard in the the first the phone booth clip that they gave out so i don't know if it's the same person or if it is I, <laughs> this kind of struck me as odd but I, it's the dark place i get it he just leaves his room key right there and <laughs> it's just there <laughs> um, right there but of page. course do that so he goes that now this this was interesting that he talked about loops and rituals but then he talks about waves and equates the dark place to the ocean which of course the last line from the first game was it's not a lake it's an ocean so that's another callback so that's kind of cool uh may also call to the ocean view hotel So a lot of the same for, uh, graffiti, return, hotel. scratch. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. So again, Ocean View Motel that was not there in the original uh, scenes. So obviously he did something to change it. Um, going through, yeah, it's it's a very noticeable difference in the backdrop versus the other videos. Um, because that was like kind of just just buildings in the other videos. I have to go, I'd have to go back and look because I don't, this is very pronounced. Editor Potato Nader here, just uh, kind of clarifying. Uh, I just said that the, the backdrop completely changed to where the Ocean View Motel like was there and appeared. Um, while I was editing this, I actually went back and watched some of the other B-roll uh, footage and whoever was playing the, the B-roll footage did a phenomenal job of just not looking up or having add the character camera in a position to where you actually don't see the front of the hotel so just to make a quick note that my initial observation actually was incorrect the hotel was there the entire time it's just that whoever was playing the b-roll footage just did an awesome job of not looking at it so just wanted to clear that up all right back to the video right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon and this this was kind of cool that it actually has a map and obviously we saw later on that he's getting help with this map which from a very certain character which i i this is i opened mouth on that one which was like oh my goodness uh so that's really cool that's a very detailed map so obviously this is the main place where we're taking part and we're gonna go he's gonna walk around and stuff like that and you see that he sees the cult picture um, I also thought it very interesting, whoops, that, that's where I was, is, we're never out of your way. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting, uh, alluding to the dark place trying to stop him. So, and then he sees the cult poster, and My then he goes into the hotel. Which I was like, oh, maybe it will literally just see like how we see it in control. But in this first part, he literally just walks right through it, and it just kicks him right back out. But technically, you see, you can see it right here. It gives the address as Three Chord Street, so 100% callback to Control and with Jesse having to pull the cord three times to access the Ocean View uh, Hotel. Now, I thought it was the motel in uh, Control because it, it looks like a motel in Control. So this is the hotel, which is the same thing, just to fit the aesthetic of where he's at. Uh, it's kind of cool like that, but he only walks through it twice So I'm of the mind that there's a potential for you to walk through it a third time And it would change maybe they didn't do that for this this demo or this demonstration But my thing would be if you then walk through it a third time because he only does it twice uh, If it would change so who knows? Uh, but obviously he goes through it, I'll and he's like, that need to find a different way, because that's what the, the mystery what caller the mystery said. Caller said if the waves keep same, same time. Away, same time. Jinx. Same time. Another... Um, hold on. One. Uh, whoop, whoops. Went a little too far. Uh, but ooh, right there, that's what I wanted to catch. Is It looks like they th the, the uh, fade-outs throw something. And this is something we didn't see in all of the stuff that I've covered previously. Uh, that almost looks like a kind of like a, a, a time bomb that they throw it out and then if it hits Alan it then you know gives you that little warning and then explodes and so that's an interesting that's an interesting uh, attack and so he used that one to get that fade out of the way but what's cool is it kind of looks like the character models different which finally um, all of the character models for the fade outs in all of the other clips look exactly the same. So thank goodness for different character models. Come on, come on, come on. That was just him fighting. Again, all the graffiti everywhere. Uh, the, they do a jump cut here. The hotel. I look to the neon signs for guidance. So it says follow the neon signs, which is weird. Now that almost looked like uh, the fade out grabbed him, which was interesting. Let's watch that again. I mean, you don't really see it because the camera actually moves up. It's almost like the fade out because it's behind him pushes the camera because it's like a like a, a physical object which is it is very interesting that they can grab you like that but it, the fade out's too far away so I don't know how that works and then it kind of messed up there but it was all right again more graffiti at Casey now which that that you didn't really see too much in the originals AWE at Casey over there uh, so he's looking around for the neon signs and this is cool this is very reminiscent of Resident Evil like where you have a safe area uh, because you have the thermos there that's a save point um, right there for the old year diner uh, they have a physical one that you can buy I, ca I kinda want it um, but it's still it's a really cool need there uh, and look oh, 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 you see the poster there hold on I may need to yep we're gonna rewind that a little bit nope too far uh, right as he walks in, of course, they angle the camera so you can't really see it, but Ati and the janitors. So that leads us to believe he's got his own group, which is kind of cool. Um, but we did see him in the uh, Saga uh, Saga gameplay that IGN had that he was singing. I and mean, that, you know, that's just thing. So I didn't see other people on stage. I don't remember. Um, but maybe that that's obviously alluding to a group, which is kind of cool. I was safe here. And so he just quickly looked around and was like, oh, I'm safe. No, oh, okay. Uh, there's the cult again. So this is right here. This is the alley that he meets Alex Casey in, which he starts to walk through, but then they skip that. 
But do they really skip it? Because as he walks toward the end, Alex Casey isn't there. And when on the Alex Casey game, but I thought it was you lost here. I was initially correct because I said you lost her. And that's what it actually says. So again, all the graffiti everywhere. There again, you lost her. But see, they skip the whole quote, quote unquote scene with Alex Casey. But as we see earlier, he starts getting those control-esque like uh, visions and Alice Casey's there, usually that means that person is dead. Uh, so, at least in control it did, because you didn't get any, you got him from Trench, and then you got him from Darling when Darling, when you find out that, well, that's a spoiler if you haven't played it, uh, then when Darling dies. <laughs> anyway, can, let's, let's move on. But going through it, you can see that he's not there over here on the right. See, and you see it through, he's not there. So in the, if you haven't seen it yet, there is one specifically, uh, there's a clip specifically that, that came out, I think IGN had it as well, um, where Alan actually meets Alex Casey in that alley that we just passed in this video. And he then goes and meets a mysterious end in this spot here, right here, in this spot. So don't know what this means for this. So obviously it has to be after that. So I don't know why he punches the door open and a little weird. I don't know, dramatic effect. Yeah. <laughs> so they jump cut a lot around in this area. But this, I know this one was done specifically to show off the just drastic change that an angel lamp can do with light, which is really kind of cool. I mean, it's completely different scenes when you turn the light on or off, or when you, I should say, when you gather the light or distribute the light. I think that's a better uh, deal there. Uh, and this was really cool. He actually does use a flare toward the end of this right here. He'll pull it out. And he just tosses it. And it has the same effect as it did in the first game. That was kind of cool, like a... It was a compound explosion, chain reaction explosion on the uh, fade outs there. Again, they threw one of those bomb things, which was kind of cool. Again, another jump cut. But that was kind of cool that he used the light on the billboard, even though the billboard's like extremely far away. Uh, but then he gets that uh, control like. Uh, I forgot what. They called it something. Uh, but it was like a vision that uh, he's getting from Alex right here on that uh, going forward. So again, another billboard, but it doesn't do anything. Hello? Oh. <laughs> right here. It was like, I didn't even, he didn't have to turn around. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's Tim Breaker. That means Tim Breaker is trapped in the dark place, just like Alan is. And I was like, what? So that is, that just makes more questions than ever before. Um, for me, as I have, like I said, I haven't done any of the backstory stuff. Uh, I tried to keep to as much of what the gameplay and stuff that they've shown us. So if you guys know why Alan, uh, not Alan, we know why Alan's there. Uh, if you know why Tim is in the dark place, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, that way we can uh whoever doesn't know and i can find out together before the game comes out but anyway continuing on hey alan you snuck up on me sorry have we met memory problems again huh yeah we've met tim breaker we've shared notes hey i've made some progress on the map if you want to take a look so this is where it comes full circle and it's just like oh my goodness they're making a map and Tim is helping Alan make this map. And then he says... I still haven't found my mystery man, though. That's kind of cool. That's not what I meant. I thought up. I wasn't doing that. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. He says this. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. The strange markings that react to light. So, once again, now... It doesn't clear up the mystery of them, but it confirms that they are 
you know, we weren't seeing things because in several of the other clips, you could see the markings that are similar to um, the markings that were made by Cynthia Weaver in the original Alan Wake to guide you to caches. It's kind of the same principle in Alan Wake 2. There was one in the Alex Casey video um, as well as the combat, the, writer, the writer's room in combat um, where you could see, in, at least in the Alex Casey one, that there was a arrow pointing in a, in a direction when you changed the, uh, the area using the angel lamp. So that, that sentence there confirms that they're there, but it doesn't kind of clear up it doesn't clear up why they're there so it's it's not as clear cut as oh cynthia weaver drew them for you to get caches it's different he does say that he has made caches but he doesn't say that the markings are leading to those caches feel free to check the map out oh i've been stockpiling supplies while i poke around if you find a stash take anything you need i appreciate the help who's this mystery man Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. So, he's like, oh, mystery man is Warlandor. And it's like, I always thought, I thought it was Waylandor. Uh, but he's like, oh, it can't be, it can't be talk show host. It's like, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, so, um, well, it, it may not be, but I mean, I come to the conclusion that it is. But um, let's keep going. So another jump cut, obviously. Uh, this is outside the. Uh, we've got the ocean. Like, got, it's got to be a like a a terrace. Um, as a matter of fact, it's probably the walkway. Just pausing for a second. It's probably the walkway that you see earlier on that's connecting the two buildings. So that might be it. Um, again, he uses the angel lamp to change the surroundings and he's able to get into this. And then it was, it's interesting. You look at the board and it says a Manhattan lake on the rocks shotgun. But that's way like very obvious that, you know, one of these things just doesn't belong here. That, 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 that's exactly what that is. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, you can easily tell that you potentially need to change the light again, and that's exactly what he does, and... I could use that shotgun. He gets the shotgun, which, again, this is super, super Resident Evil-esque. I mean, obviously the inventory it looks really good, um, but grabbing weapons off of a wall with a case and things like that, very Resident Evil, very Resident Evil, which I am, I'm here for. Like, that's 100% awesomeness. It's a double barrel shotgun, which he then immediately uses. <laughs> so now this one has a completely, first off, has a completely different character model. It's in a like poncho cloak, um, but it m moves like the ones we saw in the Saga gameplay at Coffee World. Those could kind of like teleport and there was one specific enemy in the original Alan Wake that also moved like this where it could just it was just like super speed and moved all over the place so that's that's really cool and it confirms my suspicion of different I guess at this point you say enemy types but it's like different fade out types so I'm wondering if the big huge uh, black shadow basically staying on the wall that you see in some of the clips I wonder if that is also going to be a different enemy type and for some reason it jump cuts like again to this which is weird but he's now in the hotel it's very different colory stuff uh, I don't understand that that had to have been a glitch where he just opened the door and did a 360 <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. He's going to 360 no scope something. Uh, but uh, nope, here it goes. He opens the key. Um, here's the projector that, that we've seen in some of the trailers Ball of him games. talking to himself. Obviously, Was they're not going to show it. Waiting to be played? It's super, it would have been super spoilery. Talk and what felt like a paranoid fit. 
I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. But obviously his monologue there confirms that you do in fact talk to Thomas Zane through the projector. Um which again another callback to control but it's a different you know different type of projector it's a, it was a slide projector versus uh, a film projector different things you know uh, going through here then he's going Whispers back again police radio another night. control as vision through the ether a murder in the backdrop so, of a play featuring a murder, a murder cult. cult so how meta can you get he said looking knowingly at the camera I so that an interesting line it's like he's reading from a script and then just reads the stuff in parentheses is like that's what your action that's what you're supposed to do but he just reads it out loud and that's a very interesting thing to think about is that is he reading from a script or if he's reading from the manuscript pages but why would the manuscript pages have those type of like connotations I, I guess uh there's another there's a better word for that but we'll we'll go with we'll go with connotations um but i know as you go through it and we've seen it it looks like through these visions he's talking to thomas zane but is thomas zane dead or is he still alive like who is alan talking to through the phone so again most of the time when you would get these the characters in these visions are quote unquote dead I could sense the cult. So he's talking through that, and then we're going through I was this. On the right path. Where everyone had come in, the victim, the murderer, and I, I, the detective. I just love the and monologuing. Did, it's so good. Clear as a vision, waited for me here. And so he the goes around, explores. So this is where like kids playing with a Ouija board. He was trying not to look at and the whoever's playing was trying not to look at it, but was also looking at it at the same time. Come. I can't tell who that character is. That's it. Set it up. And this is saying, oh look, hey, we need to change this thing. We use the plot board. And boom. Changes it, gives him extra stuff. Obviously, there's something that he can expect inspect there. But they jump cut. Again, there there is that uh right there. The um deal on the floor there. You can see that it's all it's you know highlighted by light. If he were to move the flashlight away, you wouldn't see it. As a matter of fact, let me see. Oh no, no, yeah, no, yes, yeah. It was kind of weird because that's mom, but yeah, he had moved the flashlight away and it went, and the uh, arrows went away. So again, the combat, yeah, see, it's just disappearing and reappearing. Combat looks a little finicky with the dodging because it looked like he dodged one of those but still got hit, so it was kind of sucky. Again, using the plot board, but oh, he didn't use the plot board. Yeah, he did. Change the scene again. The scene had changed. Give it a nice red, eerie glow. That, that's always good. And then again, he uses it to change the uh, the ballroom. That you got here. Another vision. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writers. So room. Th this is a first. Play, it's where the devil rewrites They're talking to each other in this scene, and I don't remember star ever seeing more than one character in these scenes. Him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the poster. So again, the I want to assume that's the director. Don't know if it's Thomas Zane or not. Again, I'm not making speculations. Um, but he is talking to Casey about the case he's talking about the actor that they used and just saying his name was scratched out on the posters 100 percent could be mr scratch like his name never really comes up you don't see it except with all the graffiti uh so that's different uh which i'm surprised that it's not scratched which is weird um you know just just now thinking about seeing all that scratch graffiti and it's not scratched um but that could definitely lead to as he's saying that the leader of the cult is alan wake but it's not it could potentially be mr scratch and who was this mystery celebrity let me guess alan wake i wish i could tell you but turns out there were masks upon masks whoever he really was shit got weird when he was around 
Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. So, thinking about it, it almost makes it like Casey's a separate character. And then you have, well, okay, so when I say Casey's a separate character, it's not like he's just writing the book. It's, you know, written into the book or written into the story. It's almost like Casey is examining what Alan Wake is writing as a outside influence. Now, we obviously, we see that um, because he is Saga Anderson's partner in the real world. Now, depending on what happens, I maybe that Alex Casey is somehow then trapped in the dark place with Alan, just like Tim Breaker. So that that's very interesting to think of. Um, but obviously, here at the end, again, another uh, light symbol, which is weird because he's not really pointing the light at it. Uh, but again, it jump cuts as he's fighting. Like, uh, all the cult symbols, there's that uh, bomb thing, which he gets hit again. I don't... <laughs> that seems a little easy to dodge, but then goes there. And I don't know what almost that fade out sounded like when he said, start using the words. That's... yeah, that, that's... woo. This is his face. <laughs> Uh, but that did it, it sounded like he said start using the words which is is weird um, but um, we'll have to see how when the game comes out see what happens for that uh, definitely that's all he does here is he fights runs out of ammo but ooh, as you saw there he had all of the weapons that you normally have you have the flashbang you've got the flare gun and then you have flares and then he has the revolver and the shotgun and he has a med kit this time um i don't remember healing really in the first one yeah i don't think i don't think you healed you just healed in the, you healed in the light or you just automatically healed so that's interesting that you actually can heal yourself i've never seen that before um, but he swaps, gets that. So again, different character model, which is awesome. Different weapon model, too. It is a wrench versus a pipe. Yeah, see, large pipe. So. And that's cool, he actually had a different, he had a limping animation because his health is low, which is kind of cool. And then he's going to inspect what looks like the character with the deer mask. You can't really see. Yeah, but it's a character. This is obviously one of the, like, you've got the cultist symbol right there. So it's obviously one of the cultists that got murdered, but this is in the dark place. So who knows what will happen? But um, definitely, man, this game is going to be so good. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the game when it comes out. I hope you're enjoying my reviews. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of all of this, uh, what you guys think are is going to happen, or maybe any of the story plots that I, I missed in my like reviews here. Um, but definitely uh, give, uh, give like I said, uh, give me a comment. Let me know uh, what you think. Um, definitely also check out the Alan Wake Twitter or X, whatever, um, because they're dropping, they're dropping character cards for different characters of the game, and I am taking it upon myself uh, to do a little bit of fan narration for these character cards, uh, which are also in my Alan Wake playlist that you can go check out. So definitely cannot, cannot wait for this game. It is almost here. We have about a week left and then it'll be out uh, i'm definitely hoping to do a full playthrough on the channel when it comes out so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for that all right and as always i'll be back see you guys